how to add clickable links to your Behance project. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add a clickable link to your project on Behance. It is very simple and easy to do. The first thing that you have to do is to go to behance.net then you have to sign up for the account. If you have already signed up for the account you have only to sign in for the account that you have. Now when you signed in you have this uh, platform or this landing page which has the projects all you have to do is to click here your work right here and it will show you a multiple choice now we have the work that you can upload or make on behance we have the project service work in progress or live stream all i have to do is you build a complete case study for the project here we have the project editor or the project that you have here you can start building your project simply by uploading images text photo grid audio and sound and videos embed codes lightroom files protocol or 3d here it is up to you to add some content let's say that i want to upload my project which is for example a mock-up or a design now i am going to uh, select my design i have canva.com here i work all my designs on canva it is very easy and sufficient and also very very efficient now i am going to create a project uh, real quick let's go ahead and choose a product at a project that i have for example let's go with this one here is a mock-up photo and as you can see i have created using only canva i am going to add another page which has the background color of this one you can see the background color of this one because i have made the background right here this is the color and you are here now i'm going to add for example some elements let's go ahead and add a text right here i'm going to put a text this text i'm going to put it on the black color for example and this also this with the black here i'm going to modify the text for example jack jack smith right here this is a bigger text i'm going to delete this co i don't need this one and also right here for example i'm going to add some elements let's go ahead and add some elements i'm going to put any elements that you want for example this is an element i can put this one uh, right here uh, now i'm going to add if you want to add some photos some graph uh, like here i'm going to add a logo right here and i'm going to upload i'm going to search for a logo that i have made this is a transparent logo i'm going to put it right here and here we have the logo inserted and also you can put whatever you have let's say that this is a mock-up or this is a project i'm going to download this project here i have two images i can download it as a video for example or a gif you can also go ahead and download this first one i'm going to only download the first page and the second page is going to be downloaded as a gif now let's go ahead to the share button right here click on download i am going to select the second page then i'm going to put the format as a gif this is for the animation to be appearing on the project now let's go back to the create project on behance and right here i'm going to add the images let's go ahead and put the mock-up image first as you can see here we have the mock-up image and here we go we have successfully uploaded the two images we have the uh, image which is the apng image here we, this is the mock-up image we have here two different mock-up images and also we have the gif image that you have uploaded or downloaded from canva that contains this little animation so to show the animation on Behance, you have to put the uh, GIF file or GIF image, or you can put a video directly containing the animation. 
Now for the most important part, I am going to add a link to this project. Let's go ahead and add a link. I'm going to add a text box right here, as you can see. I'm going to type, for example, for like this for more uh, designs and infos. Please visit visit like this my website website like this web site and here we go now I am going to choose the part that I want to put a link on it for example uh, or I'm going to put website here this is uh, always the catch which is the here word you can go ahead and put a link on it now I am going to put a link on here simply click on this link when you select a file or you select the part of the text it will appear uh, show up something like this this is the text editor we have here the alignment and also the link I click on link and then for example let's go ahead and add the Shopify store that I have I am going to copy the link here you can go ahead and paste it and click on done and as you can see here the here is highlighted with the blue that means that this part or this word is clickable and when you click on it it will take you to another website here this is the example you click on it twice and you will be guided to the website now all I have to do when I finish the uh, the presentation or the project is to click on save as draft or continue I'm going to click on continue here you have to put a cover for example this is the cover uh, not this is not the image that I'm going to choose let's go ahead and choose a lighter image like this this is tall having trouble at least I am going to put a image uh, let's go ahead with this one I'm going to put any image so that I can uh, show you only the steps that you can do click on crop here you can put the tags you can put the title you can go ahead and put for example this is the category of the project graphic design for example illustration photography it is up to you to choose whatever you have the project title I'm going to put mockup for example mockup mockup like this and the tags I'm going to put text screenshot whatever tag that you have I'm going to click on publish and here it is publishing the project now we have the project published and as you can see here we have the the mockup image and the gif image and also we have the website here when you click on it it will take you to the website that i have linked that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one